so guys, for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to expand batteries. And now you want to find your battery. You wanna right click on it and then click on update driver. And then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for your device installed. See if that works for you. If that's still not working, then for the second method, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Now you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you want to type in msdt.exe space dash id space power diagnostic. And then click on enter. And now this will come up, the power troubleshooter. Click on next, which is now going to run this, wait for this to load. And then once that's been done, if it detects any problems, it will try to fix it for you. See if that works. If you're still having problems, then for the last method, you want to head over to search and type in edit power plan. Click on it. And then once we're on this, you're going to click on change advanced power settings. And then once we're here, we're going to scroll down. You want to expand processor power management. And now you want to expand maximum processor state. You're going to be having an option here that says on battery. I don't have it because I'm not using a laptop, but in your case, on your laptop, you're going to be having an option right here called on battery. And then once you find on battery, you want to make the number 25. You want to make the number 25 and then click on OK. And now after you set the on battery number to 25, you just want to restart your computer. And then this should not fix your problem. 